Why we don't have that? Because you know what? We're following somebody else's dream. That's right. That's right. We can attach to other people's dream. We see that their dream is working. But go out, start something original, and you make it work. How are you going to make that happen? Come on, I'm going to show you with my ball. Come on, Tanji, do my ball. What happens is we're not surrounded by the right people. Because if we ever get surrounded by the right people, they can change your life. And with life changing, it's just words of encouragement. This is what they will say to you. You can do it if nobody else can do it. If you lose everything in the world, don't you give up. This business belongs to you. And if God be God and if he be on your side, he's more than the world against you. So this is who you become. But as long as you talk to negative people, they'll shrink you down. They kill you. I call them vampires. They're emotional vampires. They suck the life out of you. They suck the life out of your business. I don't know why you started that company. You know we in a recession. What's wrong with you? You gonna quit that good job? What's wrong with you? How you gonna start a business at this time? How you not gonna start a business at this time? Because nothing is promised. I guarantee you, if you ask those 500,000 people that have lost their job in one day, they wish they had listened to the spirit realm and said, I will, if I had started this business four years ago when God gave it to me, if we had not started this business four years ago when God gave it to us and we didn't have a job, what in the world would we be doing? Because I could be out work, my husband could be out work, but on this day, we employ our entire family. And I'm, I'm going to close with this. It's not easy when you first start. I'm going to tell you about my husband. When I told my husband I was quitting my job and I wasn't going back, uh, my husband and I just saw things a little bit different, okay? And I said, um, I set everything up at the house and, you know, and turned, the gym into, turned the dining room into my office space. And he would be talking to his friends on the phone. <laughs> He said, yeah, my wife's doing a little something from home. <laughs> he wasn't even calling the business. He's like, she's doing a little something from home. It, we were so broke at the time. He said, you know, honey, whatever money you make, you can just keep that. That can be just your little spending money. <laughs> I said, okay. And time went on and time went on, you know, a couple of months. And the first check was $100, and then the second check was like $200, and got up to $2,000, and then $3,000. But he wasn't seeing the check. And one day he comes home, and I'm too busy to go make a deposit in my account. So I give him a check, and I said, I need you to go make these deposits. And when he looked at the deposit, it was $10,000. He said, now you didn't tell me that you were making $10,000 a month. I said, no, you said. Me and my little thumb, thumb. And so time goes on, and I hear him talking on the phone again. And this time the conversation is different. He said, yeah, you know, we're doing a little something around the house. You know, me and my wife done started a business. <laughs> a month. So start with a little thumb thumb. You'll be alright. 